Chris. And was, the song was uh, Katy Perry. I'm here to hear me roar. And he kept doing a lion roar. Do your lion roar. <laughs> that was appropriate for that song. Makes sense. For the next 17 songs, you like somebody keep singing the rose. Some say love. I think. 
Hey, you guys couldn't tell who I was. You thought I was crying. Alright, this bit is over. <laughs> Crazy audition stories, just in general? Just in general. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to give it a I, I like, you know, visceral response? I mean, yeah, there's a lot of audition stories, but there's yeah. the one. You guys ever seen Primal Fear? Yeah. Long time ago. Oh, Primal Fear, yeah. Primal Fear. I, I heard you say Brian Bolfieri. Just like this is really this is like this could make your it would have been a big deal. Oh, it would have been, it really would have been. Yeah. If I hadn't do the scene where you know he's stuttering and doing the thing, and yeah. he does the turn and switches, and I went. Yeah! Casting director and the water, water spilled all over her. She's like, just stop, stop, and stop, stop, stop. Oh wow. Oh, I'm sorry, I can do it. Again. Do it again. It's like, don't bother. We're good. No, we're, we're still, we're good. I got okay. it. I, it's Great. Good. Yeah, thanks. For okay, do, do you need my headshot? No, no, no. Got it on fire. Got it on fire. Uh, That's one. I was remembering uh, uh, my first audition for Supernatural because I, I did not get my first uh, audition for Supernatural. I auditioned for the part of the young man who uh, reanimates his girlfriend. Uh, who then, and she snaps his neck later, is that right? Yeah. Uh, audition for that. Nailed it! Which is like, oh, done and done. You can just fill out this check and uh, we'll get to work, right guys? And they're like, sure, uh, we'll, we'll get back to you. And didn't hear anything, I was very disappointed. Um, and then two weeks later, audition for the role of Andy, which I felt I was not right for. Uh, at all. And there was no way, this was a waste of everybody's time for me to be there. Because he's like this stoner kid, uh, and I just, I didn't buy it. And I looked at all the other people in the room. Do you ever do that? Do you ever size yourself up? Like, like always. And I'm like, like oh, I would cast him. He's great. Oh, he's perfect. Like, that guy looks high right now. Unbelievable. <laughs> and then me, they're not gonna, they're not gonna do it. Um, but I was wrong. He was dead wrong. <laughs> well, were you? Is are you right for that part, really? Was I right? No, no. I think it hasn't worn out. I think they, there's a lot of regrets that they have. They're like, we should have gotten that really high guy. Yeah, what guy is this? Um, anyway, I think, yeah. Okay, good talk. Good talk. Hi! Okay. Um, my question is for both Jeffrey and Gabriel Zeigman. Yes, I got both names. What is... Respect. What? Well, you got both names because I can't pronounce his and ass names. <laughs> um, oh, Lord, give the Lord, the... take it away. <laughs> oh, go ahead, yes? What does the meaning of the supernatural family mean to you? And, mm. I love the both of you. And... Hey, Jeffrey, can you, um, oh, say hello, Angelica, in your Asmordeus voice? <coughs> hello, Angelica. <laughs> Like, we all genuinely like each other. 
but uh, I was really, I've been very moved in particular um, when my family had some, some very serious, very scary uh, health issues and the amount of support that uh, the supernatural community, both the actors and fans and everybody uh, showed and loved and support uh, was overwhelming at, at really the hardest time of my life, and uh, it meant so much. It was very moving at a time that it would have been very easy just to focus on what is uh, dark and scary and sad in the world. Uh, and so it's very, I, I'm reminded of that every time I come to one of these, because it's really quite a family. And I see people supporting each other. What do mean to you? Same. <laughs> Do you know? But more. But more. But more and more heartfelt. Yeah, more real. <laughs> more emotional. So, <laughs> more personal. <laughs> so, all right. Thank you, guys. Uh, all right, next. Hey. Hi. What's Hi. up? I'm Bella. <laughs> hey. um, what was like, your favorite scene to shoot on set? That's a good question. My favorite scene, not to do with myself, had to do with, I had two favorite scenes for a little bit remember. And one, is the, one of the first things I shot was where uh, uh, Jensen can't stop telling the truth. Uh, I, I, I genuinely laughed really hard. What he see? We, we didn't really run it beforehand, so I didn't know how he was going to do it. And it's legitimately funny. And I really biased towards exceptionally uh, beautiful people to think that they keep, they're not going to be really funny. And I was like, oh, god damn it! Andy's funny? Bullshit! Bullshit! This. It's like all the other people, they call it, by the way, what? Everybody's dropping out. Everybody's got albums. Like, and I'm like, what, what are we supposed to do? Like, you're going to come out with an album of animal noises. <laughs> Like you're, it's legal and it'll be fine and you'll be out of your 
this is going to be great. And I'm like, oh gosh. I've Did seen you eat the whole thing? He said it was the proper amount. He said. And That's what they always I, I ate the, the chocolate, and then I got there for the midnight. Just a little place. piece of chocolate. Huh? I've had chocolate before. And I was getting crazy. Um, yeah, dark chocolate one time. Skin nuts. Uh, so get there, and it's midnight, and the flight is delayed. For like an hour and a half. And, which is apparently enough time for it to kick in stronger than anything has ever hit me in my entire adult life. And it was like an after school special. Like, you see one of those things where they're like, they like you see it from their point of view and everything's blurry and like streamy. It looks like an acid flashback. You're like, no one's ever had That's what happened to me. I got so paranoid, I wouldn't sit next yeah. to anybody because they would go. Yeah. And they did know. And they did, and they were judging me. Yeah. And, then, and so I just stood there like this, in the middle of the thing, staring at like when it was saying that the, the, the flight was coming, just staring, and then realizing humans don't just stare at you yeah. for four hours. You should do something with your hands. Yeah. And so then, like, you know what people do? I remember what people do. People tie their shoes. <laughs> so I would pretend to, tie, to pretend, no, wouldn't be just untied. Just did this move. Just <laughs> every five minutes. And then I started having, like, aural hallucinations of sirens. And then I would turn, and would stop, and then I would turn back, and go, and start blacking out. This was terrible. Don't fuck with edibles. No. I keep like losing time. Yeah. Uh, it, it suddenly seems like you're getting on a different flight, right? I had a lot of concerns. Yeah. So I I got up there the waiting line. I'm like, just don't black out. Just don't black out. Just don't black out. And then I came to, and the the lady was clearly repeating herself for the third time, wow. and said, "Your ticket, sir." thinking man that I was, she's, she's emailing the cops. <laughs> Not the ones in LA. The ones in, New York, so the ones in Philadelphia where my layover is, yeah. they're going to be waiting for me yeah. when we land. Yeah, and they're going to arrest me. Yeah. And then I also decided that I can't sleep until they explain the emergency thing, of course. And so what I better and to read while that happens and, and count to 60, I can't read the words, count to 60 and every 60 seconds pretend to turn the page. Been so there. Don't do drugs. Okay. Um, what was the question? Okay, oh, yeah, 80's hot, 80. That's, yeah. Anyway, what was your not, not all drugs are good. What was your favorite song? Not all drugs are good. <laughs> Some of them are great. Oh, geez. What? Uh, what was your, oh, your favorite, favorite scene? scene? That was your uh, question. Yeah, my favorite scene, I think, was the first one when he was uh, telling to explain the scars. It just felt so theatrical. Mm -hmm. I loved the writing. And just his whole introduction, that first episode, I just loved all the writing before it. It just felt like I was a part of something really special. It turns out I was. <laughs>
You gonna be a lot of fun here. Oh dear. <laughs> this this seems like a bad place to spend eternity. Somebody give this boy some chocolate. <laughs> Bad guy? I think he's one of my favorite television characters ever. Yeah. 
Yeah, so complex. Yeah, so like, it's funny, it's tough, it's emotional, it's all the show. Yeah, the show. Is his son about to play him? Yes, <laughs> James Gandolfini's son. Yeah, he's playing him. He's in playing what? Tony Soprano in the Sopranos movie. Oh wow, that sounds challenging. Yeah, emotionally so, and yeah. just yeah. Every, everything about him. Yeah, but apparently he looks a lot like. Makes sense. Oh, he does. Oh, yeah. It's yes. genetics. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, I just want to do a Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Yes. Yes. <laughs> he, like, he make himself right at home. Yes. Just. just that's not working. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, hi. What's up? Hi. Um, so. What's your favorite theater games? Because I think more people here know like theater games than you probably think. You want to come up for a second? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you know how long? Oh, you want to do Zip Zap Zap? I love that game. I was the kid. I was kind of like, I never liked the theater games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so cool. here's how Zip Zap Zap works. <laughs> First of all, hi, what's your name? Sydney, hi, Sydney. Sydney. Say, hi, say hi to Sydney, guys. Hi, Sydney. So this is a good game you can do at a party, if you're trying to get your family to connect, anything. <laughs> oh, oh my if, you, if you want to not be cool in high school, this is a great game to play. So it's, it's you go sit, and if it comes to you, you go zap to somebody else, and then you go, you look at that one goes zap. And so you, you have to do it at the same time, you go sit, zap, zap. Right. So if it comes to you, you throw it back at either one of us. Yeah. All right. Here we go. And I get well, yeah, so I want to sit. Supernatural. I think so too. I think, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the origins. 
chip. Corn chip, oh, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a real good through line. It's uh, the corn chips arc. Think of, think, think of the sponsorship. Oh, yeah. I can think of it. Yeah. Corn chips. <laughs> yeah. Shooting? Favorite thing? This is me stalling. <laughs> favorite would be the question. I mean, my, my favorite thing was all of them. It really was. It was everything. It was, it was first of all, getting the role, then the scripts, and then actually doing it, and then watching it, and then now these. It's just it's this whole big, mass experience of meeting fans and interacting with fans online. It's just been a huge, everything about it has been great. I think it's really, it's very lucky that the show that we get invited to do conventions on was a good experience. Because there's so yeah, many shows that are not. Uh, and I can't imagine like being asked about it, like, hey, remember that uh, terrible experience you had? Can you tell us some fun stories about that, thankfully? Or, you know, what was your favorite experience on the show? Man. Next question. <laughs> show to come up with. Uh, do, you, do you have like a worst, a worst experience? Yes. <laughs> do you feel like you can't yeah, say it out loud? Say it. That's, That's all right. Um, but for myself, I would, it, was, it is, it's one of those, one of those shows where like there's so many fun aspects of it. Like all the other yeah. actors are fun, yeah. the writers are fun, like everything about it yeah. is, is great. My favorite, <laughs> just popping in my head was seeing Chad Lindbergh perform for the first time uh, because they, they were they were having to reshoot one of his scenes in the middle of our shoot so it was like on set and uh, Jensen uh, came up to me he's like you gotta stick, stick around you gotta go check this guy out I'm like what do you mean he's like it's fucking Jack Sparrow <laughs> he's like, I love what he's doing I'm like What's going on? Like they had had him come back to like tone it down a little bit, and I'm just like, he's like, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Everything he was doing was perfect. And I'm like, and then and then this amazing. I loved his character. He's like, this, he's answering the door. He's naked. Uh, he's got a mullet. I was like, this show. I didn't, so I wasn't very familiar with the show, and I'm like, this show is delightful. <laughs> Um, Ryan doesn't have anything to do with the show, but I was wondering if you could give me a senior quote for my yearbook. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you've seen it here. Stay away from Quit your day job. Quit your day job. Don't eat little bits of chocolate if you will eat you. Ever. What? Who oh, yeah, just corn chips. <laughs> Motion. I don't know. I, it'll be time. We're, we're workshopping it. We'll, we'll get back to you. Uh, what? Uh, I'm going to revise mine. You should. Uh, <laughs> dream big now. Really dream big. And, uh, you know, even if, it, if it's way, way up there, even if you don't reach the top dream that you dream, you're going to be going in the right direction. I don't think there's enough room for People would see me over craft service and like this. <laughs> ribs. Lots of ribs. I was one time, uh, well, that's uh, a there was sushi. They brought sushi in and, uh, you know, the uh, soy sauce. That can get messy. And, uh, I was... <laughs> <laughs> I'd like that to be how you eat everything. <laughs> no matter what you're wearing. Uh, well, I think it's all over here now. This side, representative. Hello. What's up? 
Um, my question is, if you had been offered any of a role on Supernatural, like any at all, even like Sam or Dean, like, yeah. which one would you want to be the most? Dean. Dean. <laughs> so bitch. Also for the money. I think that's also a good there, there are a lot of episodes, more than two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dean's pretty cool. What's up? Uh, what would be one thing your, your character would want to do before they die? Not die. <laughs> <laughs> do more episodes. Um, be the king of hell. Yeah. Unfinished business. Yes. Have to die. Truly be the king. I mean, he was doing all right for a while there. Huh? You had a good run. Yeah, hey, we're swimming along quite nicely, thank you. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. You want them? Oh, you were together, but not. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a, did you have a question? No. You're, you're good? Okay, good. <laughs> all right. All right. We plowed through it. Good work. What you got going on now? What do I got going on? Yeah. Um, Tell us what you're up to. So, I, I've just been doing a lot of writing uh, lately. Excited about a couple of things. Things in the hopper, things at various stages of development. That annoying thing where it's like, oh, you can't say anything. Yes. Yeah. So then what's the point of even saying it? Yeah, well, I'm excited about it. You know, yeah. There's a lot of things I can't talk about too, but you know, really big stuff. Yeah, yeah, super big. Like, oh, I mean, like, well, let's just say it runs. Oh, yeah. Mission for oh, yeah. No, I got to I just do that. I can't talk about it. But, Flame. Uh, I, I, I do tell you, it's big. It's big stuff. Yeah, yeah super big. You, uh, you have some stuff too? Yeah, yeah. Like, well, can you tell big, me anything? Here's a little hint. Okay. Flames and Fond. Oh. That's just, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Does it? You can't no, crack the code? But, hey, yeah. what's up? <laughs> How you doing? I'm Annie. Hi. Hi. Um, if you had a song, that exemplified what your life is, what would it be? Our actual lives? Your actual lives. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Same. That's great. You are crazy legs. That's your new name. some corn chip snacks <laughs> for everyone and talked about uh, how there's no reason to fight here and why don't we all zoom off to my van and take a little road trip together and I think everything will be a-okay. That's how I saw things, which maybe doesn't have the dramatic effect that, you know, the, the, the other fight sequence with, uh, with uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, Valdis, yes. Uh, I get why they went in that direction. I guess. <laughs> What's up? Thank you. No problem. This question is for Gabe. Did you have any input as to the painting on the side of Andy's van? Oh, I didn't, but it was glorious. <laughs> So it's this barbarian queen, she's riding a, a polar bear. Oh, uh, I just love these. Sounds scenes. like a meatloaf cover up. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a Saturday night for you. Uh, so I I saw I rolled up to that. I was like, what is this? This sh it, it was like every step of the way, this show is incredible. And uh, do I get to keep the no, I don't. Okay. Uh, and then I loved how they had like a beaded uh, was it a velvet tiger print in the back, or was it beads? Uh, it sounds like a it was, Oh, it was a great man. It was a very wow. in the hands of the wrong person, super creepy, but <laughs> with a nice innocent fellow. What about me? But I make you creepy. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. <laughs> Only by a factor of a million. Uh, yeah. Get in. Oh yes. Oh, 
really big fan. Oh. Hi. Oh. 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 Are we here? Oh yeah, hi. What's up? My question is for uh, Jeffrey. I just want to know how the voice of Asmo Days came about. And I also want to tell Gabriel that when you took Dean's Apollo, it was the greatest scene ever in life so hard. Scott has one day's voice Well, yeah. um, did you go through other choices before you went in? It came right to me. That was it. Came right to me, and it was. Uh, I, I, he he kind of, you know. I know there's a little bit of a, and not this one, but there's a little bit of a kernel. <laughs> not that. Just a, just a general kernel. Just a kernel. He kind of seemed like a southern, you know, he's a southern guy, and. Uh, and I've been to New Orleans, and I felt like he'd probably be more Louisiana than anything, so... Did it say in the character It description? said, uh, the description was like, think like Frank Underwood. Okay. And he's from Louisiana, too, so... Oh, right. There was a, there was a lot of clues that led me to that voice. If you had to do a different accent for him, what would it be? Hey, welcome to Hope Boys. How you guys doing? Come on in. Let's take a look at the from now on. All you, uh, you know, uh, all the minions with the crowd. We got work. You know, you're out. You're out. Everybody else, step forward. Boom. You're done. Vincent and Lucian, and they're sitting in front of a fire, and it's sort of like, you know, it's, it's a very sort of nefarious scene, and it looks like it takes place in the 1800s, like so. And it's basically about creating your own future. Cut two. I'm walking on set for the first time in, in Crowley's lair. I'm looking around, I'm like, wow, this is, a, this is an amazing set. It was the same throne Come on. that I used. There were two of them. This was the same throne with the same. Go back and watch that short. It's the same throne. That's awesome. So it was, in a sense, doing that same thing, like creating something for myself much further in the future than I thought. And it all came full circle. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Where can one see the short? Online. The, the, the internet. The internet. The world. 
you just type in Vincent and Lucian. Vincent and Lucian. And yeah. I, uh, I had the idea of making a short film um, much less deep. It was just me, uh, present day me, being waited on by the 22 year old version of me because I was the worst waiter you've ever seen and I would have hated myself so much uh, and I was going to do all my terrible waiter bits to myself uh, and have a big, real big argument with myself. So same message, I, I, think, yeah. I think it's working on the same levels. Yeah, like time um, jumping. Yeah, okay. and a real creative fulfillment. Um, Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Um, hi, my question's for um, Jeffrey. Um, I just want to dance came in when no one was really hell. But how do you think he would have done had he come in and had to fight Crowley or